Bonjour, hey everyone, I hope you're doing great and welcome back on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to speak about Long Beach. Long Beach is one of the fastest uh, street courses that I've been racing at. Very, very long straight line. It's actually curved to the right, but it's a straight line. And then you go into the, the Fontaine section, super slow, and that double right corner, pretty fast. Back straight, also fast, with a big braking, bumpy, turning into a turn, I believe it's 10. 11 and then you go to the airpin slowest corner of the championship so a mix of very very slow corner the airpin and the fontaine and a mix of very high speed straight line and pretty big braking and bumpy it is definitely one of the hardest street courses that you can race at but also one of the nicest indycar has been going there for many many years i think two i don't know i remember watching in 2005 2006 but i think it's a much older race than that anyway I hope you enjoy and I'm going to take you through some key moments of the race. Oh, one of the challenges in Long Beach is the start because it's such a, a slow last section. Trying to pack everyone up for the start is very, very tricky. So you normally never really get like a clear pack start. The first three rows get together, but all of the rest of the queue is just like, um, like spread out. Um, there is no real solution. We tried everything in Long Beach, but definitely if you're not qualified in the first few, uh, it's more like a safety car race start than a race start itself. You see how slow we go in line and then suddenly it accelerates. So it does really feel like a, a restart, but I had a decent one. Um, started a little bit further than we wanted. Long Beach didn't, didn't do a good qualifying uh, starting 16. Um, took it a bit, a bit careful in the first few laps, you know, just uh, not making many mistakes and uh, just going, going through the first few laps. But straight away I felt that the car was pretty decent, pretty good. and. Uh, that we had a chance to do something whilst the, the, the Fontaine is always a tricky one. People try to go two by two, but it, it doesn't really work. So um, you, you have to make your way through. You have to feel why your car is strong or not and, and attack from there. Here we are about lap, lap 13 into the race. Now you have a good idea of where your car is strong, where it's not strong, how the tar deck is. At 20 to 25 laps is typically a stint for us. So at that point, you, you know which adjustment you want to make uh, on the next pit stop of thing in that race. We had a pretty good balance. Lacking a little bit of rear grip, but generally balance felt pretty all right. So the car was good. Tire degradation was well under control. Uh, we didn't have too much fuel saving to do. So at that point, it was just uh, it was just about attacking and trying to make as many positions as, as we could. Here we go. So we're talking uh, in IndyCar, pit, in lap and out lap is so important. In lap, you push as hard as you can. You just push to pass. Here we're going to come into pit lane. Uh, quite a tricky pit entry. Going into the pits, uh, obviously pit sequence is very important. Pit stop, the guys have been working very well. We've done third in a pit stop competition in E500, so that was great. Then, you know, you come in, look at that pit lane in, in Long Beach, quite tricky with that turn in the middle. Uh, but you come in, you want to stop on your mark as late as you can, as hard as you can on the brake, but stop nicely on the mark. And you see the car jumping out, you see both tires, front tires coming off, both tires coming back on. And then I check on the right hand side, I'm checking my fuel. You're not allowed to engage first gear until the fuel probe is out of the car. So as soon as it's out, engage first gear, car drops on the ground, release it. Now going into the outlap, no tire blanket in the car. So cold tires, slippery, uh, but that's where you make big difference in the race. So coming out of the pit lane, look how bumpy that pit exit is. And then you go into the turn one, you have to go so wide, you, you cannot cross that orange line. So that's the rules. And then you're on cold tires going into the, the Fontaine, super tricky part. Uh, understeer when you go in and you go on power, oversteer sliding. I mean, it's just it's just a lot of fun, but it's also where you make so much position and time in the race. Those those key moments are so important. That That's what we practice in a warm-up. You know, in a warm-up, we do pitch to practice and we practice the out lap, we practice the in lap, we practice the pit in, the pit out, uh, pit stop for the boys and, and absolutely sending it. Um, but you also have to remember that you have to do 25 laps on the tires. So if you use them too much and too hard at the beginning, you're gonna pray, you're gonna pay a, a heavy price later on. Well, that's that's it for the race. I think uh, we finished eight in Long Beach. That's the best uh, result for Hunko Salinger Racing in Long Beach. We had a great race pace. We had a, a good race. We messed up qualifying, so but I felt really good. I felt really good after the race. Um, took a red eye flight back to Miami. Always a bad idea, uh, but anyway, just uh, I think we uh, we had a very good package there. Uh, we started in St. Pete, qualifying fifth, so we showed that we had a strong street course packages and uh, just keep working on it, right? Keep working on, on getting the car better and better. I think the weekend started not so well. We had a different issue in FP1, then we tried a different setup for FP2 and qualifying, it didn't really work well. And then finally reverted for the race and, and that was the right decision. So 
I think we're just gonna keep working what we have, keep improving. Uh, pit stops are getting better and better. Car in the race is pretty decent. Our degradation is well under control. Uh, Shovel has been doing an amazing job for us this year. So all in all, I'm, I'm happy where we are. Obviously we want more, but we're gonna work to go there. And uh, on your side, your work is to like, subscribe and comment that video. And I'll see you very soon.